and pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the sick, the handicapped, and the uh, recently departed of our community, as well as military personnel. Thank you. Mr. Henderson? Here. Mr. Petroselli? Here. Mr. Galaducci? Here. Mr. Colosimo? Here. Mr. Verducci? Here. Mrs. Schneider? Mr. Shashowski? Here. Mayor Copeland? Here. Solicitor McDermott? Here. Engineer Brett? Here. I'm Joe Cowan. Chief King? Here. Chief Castain? Assistant Chief Magnus filling in? Here. And then Director Miller? Here. Thank you. Our public comments uh, ask you to come to the microphone, state your name and address. Uh, Bob Fryer. Turn on. I uh, there's a button inside the turn on. I Turn that microphone on, Bob. Yeah. Just in case. Just in case. State your name and your address. Yes, sir. Uh, Bob Fryer. Five oh eight. Tempest Path, we're going 15017, but it's actually in South Head Township. Uh, I guess you guys can hear me, right? Yeah. Uh, I, I can point to the drawings over there uh, to make my point about them. The first drawing to the left there on the top, that say that was a multi million dollar proposal that was made to bridge officials by the Allegheny County Charters Panhandle Commission in the 70s, I believe. It, uh, you can see uh, it, it's uh, the, the two vertical uh, streets are the two -way, proposed two-way couple, Washington Avenue, Shady Avenue. The left-right angle is a, 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 a 200 car parking lot. On each end, they had uh, two 10 story high rise uh, condominiums, and uh, that was turned on by original officials. Down below, by the way, the proposal was made the year before. It's a, a, a less uh, aggressive uh, uh, but multi million dollar proposal. Uh, it, there's no two way couple, but it again had the uh, a walking mall, parking lot, and the uh, high-rise apartments on each side, primarily to have a captive audience if they walk to the shops. <clears throat> At any rate, the reason those refusals were so important, they, weren't, they were proposed by Allegheny County, which meant if we would have accepted them, whoever our councilman were back then, the, the uh, funding for building them would almost have been guaranteed. At any rate, back then, there were hundreds of billions of dollars of federal money available, and they were into redeveloping older communities that had, had specific areas designated as blighted areas, which that area of Bridgeville did fall into that category. The, the, other, the other larger drawing, that's just a two one-way couple that I hope Make sure is in the comprehensive plan. The an integral part of that, the third drawing to the right, that's just the that's the railroad bridge going over top of uh, the, the section of Washington Avenue from the Barber Road intersection north to Collier. The PennDOT and other people have been telling us for decades is the reason that they never would add and two more lanes and sidewalk during that stretch. And uh, I can't, I forget what else we have here. Uh, hey, Bob, oh, yeah. Yeah, no, let me just interrupt you for a minute. Certainly, go ahead. We are, uh, we are knee deep in the selection process of the company to go forward with our comprehensive plan. That's good to know. We are working in conjunction with the Planning Commission, and uh, as part of the presentations that we've read so far, uh, there'll be a lot of opportunity for public input. And, yeah, uh, so, you know, I, 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 you know, 
understand what you have here. No, that's fine. I just, to, I just wanted to do this here. I, I, I'd like to just make one more comment and I'll get out of the way. Uh, I get the impression from a few of the comments from a few of the guys that they think the comprehensive plan is like making a proposal to the feds and the state to fund something so it should be attractive from a uh, reasonable cost standpoint. Forget that. The comprehensive plan is going to be the dream plan to make everything in Bridgeville what it has to be in terms of eliminating the traffic congestion problem and, and, and the parking deficiency so that our business districts can be competitive with the other business districts along this board. I have to tell you that the members of the planning commission that I've been working with would probably resent hearing that because they have um, unturned every stone. They're thinking about, they're thinking creatively. Uh, there's, there's a lot of things going on. That's and, so good uh, to hear. They are, they are not in a hole just uh, worried about money. That's, that's not what's going on right now. Yeah, because keep in mind, as I mentioned before, PennDOT's responsible for the traffic congestion on Washington Avenue at Washington Pike. Don't let anybody convince you that Bridgeville has to pay for that. That's ridiculous. Same as solving the traffic congestion problem uh, on uh, Bottle Hill Road. That's a county project. Don't be intimidated by the people who have been intimidating us for decades. Boy, it's, it's good news to hear. And I have I have mentioned many times that our new manager and our new uh, engineer are the two best things that happen to to town in decades. So I support them every way possible. Thanks, Thanks for the time. Thanks, Mike. Uh, Nick Dinger. Just take your name and address it. Nick Dinger, Estate Order 1316 Union Street, Bridgeville. Um, I live one year in, and a few issues that I'm having are getting onto the street itself, uh, as well as along the road. Um, turning off of Bower Hill onto Union, Liberty itself. Uh, there's a stop sign there coming from the opposite side of Bower Hill. Nobody stops. Uh, at least four out of five days a week that I come home from work, I have to break suddenly for somebody blowing that stop sign. Um, another issue is the mill entrance uh, towards the other end of Union. Um, you know, there's two signs on the pole coming out of the parking lot stating no right turn. Uh, there's kids that live on that street, families outside all the time. Uh, and I noticed that when they come out of that lot, they're floating down the road. Um, another thing that I, I noticed was the stop sign at the intersection of Union and Terrace. Um, there's a stop sign there, but it's not really um, the word I'm looking for. In the right place. It's, exactly, thank you. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of misleading as to who has the stop um, coming from any direction. So I know there's a lot, of, a lot more issues, more pressing than that, but just wanted to bring it to the attention. No, we appreciate you coming down and, and bringing it up. Thank you. Um, we'll have our public safety community take a look at that in those areas, okay? Okay, that's it. All right, on the regular order of business. I need a motion to approve the April 12th, 2021 regular meeting minutes as submitted. So, again, all in favor? Aye. Uh, opposed? The motion passes. I need a motion to approve the May 2021 bill list. I'll approve. One second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, opposed? The motion passes. I need a motion to approve the May 14th, 21st, 28th, June 4th and June 11th, 2021 payrolls. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That motion passes. I need a motion to authorize the advertisement and public display, or display of ordinance number 1021, an ordinance of the Borough of Bridgeville amending its code of ordinances, chapter 13, licenses, permits, and general business regulations, part two, transient retail merchants, subsection 205.E, 
Prohibited Acts and Part 3, Solicitation of Contributions, Subsection 303.G, Conditions under which permit is issued to establish updated rules regarding permissible and prohibited days and hours during which one may or may not engage in lawful door-to-door -door solicitation or other covered activities as recommended by the Public Safety Committee. So moved. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. I need a motion to adopt resolution number 2021-15, a resolution of the Borough of Bridgeville authorizing applying for greenways, trails, and recreation program funding for the Chartier's Park Fitness Trail Project. I so moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. I need a motion to adopt resolution number 2021-16, a resolution of the Borough of Bridgeville, Allegheny County, Pennsylvania, disposing of records in compliance with the Municipal Records Manual approved on July 16, 1993, in accordance with Act 428 of 1968. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. I need a motion to authorize the disbursement of $69,192.06 from the Capital Project Fund to Jet Jack Incorporated for partial payment number one for the Bowerville Road Stormwater Improvement Project. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That motion passes. I need a motion to authorize the disbursement of $86,595.63 from the sewer fund to Jet Jack Incorporated for the partial payment number one for the Blackwater Valve Contract Phase 3 project. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion passes. We have an addition to the agenda where I need a uh, motion for partial payment number three from LMNR Excavating LLC for the subject uh, project. We've, re re we've reviewed the work completed and recommended partial payment in the amount of $74,362.50. I should move. Second. So subject to uh, all certified payrolls today. This is for the McLaughlin Run Park. I'm sorry. I'm just saying. Yeah. So we had a motion. Yes. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? That motion passes. I need a motion to award contract to or assist or serious uh, enterprises in the amount of one hundred fifty-seven thousand one hundred twenty-five dollars for the Blackwater Valve contract. Phase four project is recommended by the borough engineer. I still move. Second. Nino and Bruce, uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. We need a motion to award contract independent enterprises incorporated in the amount of $74,855 for the Storm Scepter Improvements Project as recommended by the borough engineer. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. We need a motion to accept and pay any commission due April 2021 real estate tax collective report. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion passes. I need a motion to acknowledge receipt of the March 2021 treasurer's report. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. I need a motion to accept the April 2021 police report. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That motion passes. Okay. A short month. Mm -hmm. Mr. Manager. Lots of work for you. Committee reports. Administration. Um, Virginia Buck, or Virginia Schneider. Um, thanks, Bill. I think I'll just have Bill um, provide those few updates just because of the technology issue here. Okay. <laughs> yep, that's fine. Thank you. Thanks for attending. Appreciate it. No, thank you. Uh, finance, uh, Joe Produce. Uh The finance software uh, has, uh, the upgrade has uh, started. 
Uh, it should be completed before the middle of July, so uh, you'll be able to, residents will be able to pay the borough bills online on our website with a credit card. Uh, Workman's Compensation Safety Committee, this is something that we came up uh, with uh, uh, quite a few months ago, and it's nice to see they had uh, a meeting on April 15th, and that's something I think they've had a couple meetings already. Uh, but this will allow us to have a certification uh, this fall and in 2022 because of that committee we'll receive a, a discount on the, uh, the fire department workers compensation policy so that's another good job by our uh, borough manager. Um, there uh, were two contracts awarded as you can see uh, they were uh, the budget was 140,000 and we were able to get those bids uh, quite significantly lower so that was uh, another uh, nice thing to see that we're, we're staying within budget on those things. Uh, as we uh, continue to brainstorm uh, infra infrastructure projects uh, for the federal stimulus funds, uh, we have a few things that we included in the packet of ideas and, and different things. Joe has uh, put together some quotes that he's uh, felt through, so that'll be something once uh, we're we receive more information on how we're allowed to spend it and how the disbursements will come out. I've read quite a few places where we're not getting all the money in one year, we're getting it split in two years. So, but we don't have the specifics of where we're going with that. So that's uh, something that we'll be talking about in the future fire uh, finance committee and then we'll bring it to the council for uh, some discussion as well. That's all I have, thank you. Thanks, Joe. Uh, Parks and Recreation, Joe Colosso. Okay. Thanks, Joe. Uh, we hope to have a clock around the park open by the middle of June. Most weather stays nice, no more rain. Uh, Public Works has been doing a lot of work, down, especially down at tri -Tiers Park. They painted the dugouts and the restrooms. In general, keeping the uh, parks looking nice. They've uh, remulched right under the playground equipment and uh, keep that good and safe. A third dogway station was uh, added down at Chartier's part towards the back, so hopefully they'll curtail the uh, doggy duties in the park. Uh, we're in the process of setting up a meeting to uh, select some playground equipment for Chartier's Park to go with the uh, redevelopment of the park down there, so that's ongoing and hopefully get that work going maybe at the end of the year or as soon as possible. I know the engineers working on that down there. And the, that park will really, I think, be the, the highlight of all of our parks. I mean, McLaughlin's nice, but Chartier's was always a uh, go-to place I always thought. But, uh, that's all I have. Thanks, Joe. Public Works. Can I take you, Mr. Chairman? I think, uh, say that uh, as far as the public work in the parks, it's all been said by Mr. Colosimo. Uh, and that the weekly street sweeping was completed April 6th to April 30th. Street sweeper is now running the third week of the each month through fall on Wednesday morning in the commercial area. Brush grinding was complete at, at April 6th to April 30th, it goes the same uh, schedule of the sweep. Crew has a feet very busy cutting grass, of course, as you know, this is the time that the grass is pretty red. Uh, parks work, as uh, Mr. Carlos will mention that, uh, there have been quite a few signs refacing. They look like new. That's a uh, good money saved there. And that's another good job for our manager. And, uh, and you, got, you got your report in front of you. Many other little things happening here. Uh, and that's all I have. Thank you. Public safety. I don't have any other reports, sir. Mayor Betty Cooper. May 8th, I presented an Eagle Scout proclamation 
to Stephen Rubensky for his Eagle Scout project was restoring the Lotus Pond Bridge at the Pittsburgh Botanic Gardens in Oakdale, Pennsylvania. I've been in touch with the Shaw family, as you recall, last year, the 11-year-old Emma passed away from mitochondrial disease, and they are going to have a memorial walk for her on June 12th, and they decided to have that at Scott Park. But they want to have, as a memorial to her, because she loved to play at Cook School Park, they want to put a lending library and also a plaque in memory of her. So Mr. Fox, who has been contacting me for the family, I've asked him to be in touch with our borough managers so that they can work out the details. Thank you. Thank you. Please, Chief, check in. Number four. Solicitor, Tom McDermott. Well, thank you. Um, I don't have anything to add to the I do have one question for you. Um, any word on the sewer piece? Uh, that was helpful. I reported to the manager like last week. I had a meeting with the council last week. Mm -hmm. He was hopeful receiving a confirmation on the timing. So that's Since I have not received a I am moving forward this week. Definitely. Uh, Borough Engineer. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. A uh, quick introduction. I guess I'm going to Captain Dave Kovac. Um, and I, we submit a report. I'm happy to answer any questions. Any questions uh, for the engineer? Yes. Um, Jane Way project, I see that everything's been cleared. Do we have an estimated date that will begin? Um, I think we, uh, we're waiting on the water company to come out to locate the line. Okay. Uh, they're supposed to do that one thing. And then um, and the materials are on site, so as soon as we verify the contract, the contract will be ready. So, so. No, is that going to create any diversion traffic on Baldwin Street? Or is that just going to be from the parking, from behind the beer distributor over? Um, I believe it's just the beer distributor over. I, I can double check and make sure um, on the, I can let uh, I would see yeah, There's a lot of room back there. Yeah, yeah, yeah I like that. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. They should be looking at traffic. Yeah, <laughs> appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Fire Chief, or Assistant Chief, Mike Packer. <clears throat> After the month of April, uh, we had 39 calls, various gun calls going on. So just be aware that the vehicles come in on the fire station, you know. We can try to get the calls as fast as we can. <coughs> also, we have a bunch of fundraisers out there. Um, people can see it on our Facebook pages. So we'd like to thank everybody who's supporting us and uh, keep supporting us. We have fundraisers all the time, so keep checking our Facebook. We got a new one coming up. It's every Thursday. Uh, there's a food truck that's going to be down here at the fire hall. Um, so just to check our Facebook page to see who it is. The first one is, like I said, this Thursday. Uh, it's going to be uh, the Blaze Grill. It's out of theirs. Um, all of them will be from 4 to 8. So I said, come down, you know, get some food. You might see us out there with the training or whatnot. So like I said, you're more welcome to, you know, eat some food and hang out for a little bit. Go from there. Thank you, sir, and thank you again for the use of the facility tonight. We we'll appreciate it. Uh, Southbridge EMS, Dan Miller. Uh, your report. Thank you, sir. Uh, do we have a report from Mary Wise? The program will be here on the 26th, and the uh, program is about Mother Teresa, so we hope everyone will come out and attend that. We also still have paintings by former virtual resident Marge Orlandini that she donated to us and had given us permission to sell. So we hope to stop at the historical society and look at them and see if we can Thank you. Thank you. Anyone from the library? Not here. Uh, virtual parking authority, I see you on the mic back here. Do you have anything for us, Mike? Any questions for Mike? Park it for you. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Mike, for being here. Appreciate it. Um, Planning Commission, Justine. Yeah. Well, we have been uh, asked to uh, join with the council to discuss the uh, 
a comprehensive plan so we know which route to go and where we're going to go. And also, too, we are involved with council in discussing the RFPs or the proposals for the act of delegating rent. And that we're going to work out the dates. And that's about it. Thank you. Uh, Borough Manager, Joe Cowell. Um, just a quick thing, uh, on the agenda tonight was the uh, authorized grant application to be submitted to the Chargier Park Fitness Trail Project. Uh, the application has been completed and I'll submit it tomorrow. So uh, it's been supported by our state rep, our state senator, the county kind of planning department. So uh, I thank everyone for the support and I'm hopeful that it uh, gets considered. When does that turn around, Joe? Not for a few months, I assume? We plan on it the fall. All right, thank you. Sure. Uh, under new business, I um, just wanted to read a couple of stats here that I thought were important. Since August of last year, we've applied for 15 grants under our new borough manager. We've been awarded five of those grants, totaling almost $182,000. Eight additional grants are still pending, and some of those look very favorable. Uh, we've only been denied two grants uh, of those 15 that um, he's applied for. So. Thank you, Joe, for always seeking for some financial resources for our community. We appreciate it. Anything else under new business? I have uh, just a reminder, uh, the Bridgeville South Band Rotary will be having uh, their first annual trivia night on June 19th. Uh, actually here, uh, groups of eight to 10 people are welcome to come as a team to compete for the the big prize of the, being the smartest in the room. <laughs> so I have flyers here if anybody's interested. Uh, it's going to be a great night. Uh, we're looking forward to it. It's a, a, a new uh, event that we have because we were not able to do chili cook-off last fall, but I can guarantee you we will be doing it uh, this fall. So that date hasn't been picked until Wednesday, whenever we know what the steward schedule is. <laughs> Um, any other yeah. congratulations to Joe and your daughter. Absolutely. Yeah. Welcome to Bridgeville. Family is growing. Anything else? Motion's been made to adjourn. Do I have a second? I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Aye. Aye.